Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365. Hope you guys are doing well. It is November 11, 2024, Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to everybody. Salute to all the soldiers, active and uh, veterans. Um, all right. Um, it's a 10-minute video here. I want to talk about this real quick because uh, I, I haven't talked about the uh, USTC white paper release, and I don't really, because I just didn't care about it um, because they, they want to create a new token, and I'm not for a new token. Um I'm not saying that this can't work or anything. It's just a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and and when we only we, we, our supply is not that big. I mean, we're you know, it's not like we have um twenty trillion tokens or so. We 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 have, we have like five billion tokens. You know what I mean? Or seven billion tokens left or something. You know, so it's all we have to do is buy back and burn, right? And um, so it's, let's let's just keep it simple. We're in the season of the bull cycle, where you know the uh, volume by itself is going to reduce the, the token supply by 50 percent just in this bull cycle alone and then we just take care of the rest just buy buy back and burn buy back and burn buy back and burn and take care of the rest and USTC should be up at 40 50 60 70 cents i know there's a lot of people that are suppressing it and pushing it down on purpose but just the environment that we're in, it's going to burn, you know, 50% of the supply and, and we can just buy back and burn ourselves or just buy and bring that buying pressure to it, extreme buying pressure uh, to it once, um, you know, once these altcoins go crazy. You see Act, Act 1 today, uh, Act 1 Prophecy token is up 1,800% as Binance listed. Um, why did Binance list it? I don't know. They haven't listed Bone, but they they they, they didn't have they haven't listed. Think, think about it. They haven't listed Bone, Shiba Swap Bone, even though the Shiba Army has been begging for two years. But they listed twenty a token that was like around, under a twenty million on market, uh, and now it's up eighteen percent, eighteen hundred percent in one day, right? So people are calling for them to be investigated. Binance to be investigated for pumping in for for uh, insider trading on on uh, these type type of tokens. Maybe a pump and dump scheme or something. I don't know. But the the, the token still up, and it was it's it's a token that I had on Patreon for over two weeks now, about a week and a half, two weeks now on Patreon. We we introduced it, and it went crazy. So um. So you could have got it on Patreon there, right? So one of the tokens on Patreon that went completely psycho, right? And I'm like, okay, if you can do that, then add BNB Tiger. So, you know what I mean? And let BNB Tiger go up a million percent, right? So if you're going to add tokens, if you're going to be adding the random meme coins, you know what I mean? So uh, with low market caps, you know, anyways, it is what it is. Anyway, um, so that's what's going on right now. Um, I, I just don't, I, I don't want to talk about a token um a new token i don't want you know usty is what they're calling it uh automatically swap the usty you know is and is gradually brings uh it says the uh, cmm will gradually bring usty back to a one dollar floor yeah i don't want a new token i i think um for some reason i i, I consider people who want new tokens uh as um kind of like greedy a little bit it's almost like i'm not saying that they are these people are i'm just saying like it's it is, it's kind of like a money grab it's almost like a money grab in my opinion because they're gonna have the new tokens they'll be able to make a lot of money in the new tokens that we support that a new, any type of new token they will benefit way more than anybody else so i i just don't i just don't want a new token i i like what we have ustc lunk and luna I, I, you know, I don't want, I don't want to, and people are asking me to, um, you know, talk about cookies as well, lung cookies. I just, you know, I've done that in the past and, and we, we've had these tokens disappear, right. Um, on us or, or just go back or just do bad things and go bankrupt and, uh, and then disappear from the community. So I just, uh, so to just to keep these, everything fair, let's just focus on the three Luna, Luna classic, 
and Luna 2.0, Luna Classic, and USTC. Everything that's in that ecosystem can can flourish in that ecosystem with the support of the t- community. But I don't need to be featuring them, right? So well, on the platform, just keep the three because those are the three that are going to be here for the long term. Everybody else might come. And might be hot one day and then and then leave the next day, right? So we've had a bunch of tokens that we've covered on here that surround those these three and they faded away. So I don't want to talk about tokens that could fade. I want tokens that are here for the long term, like you know that that are here that that are really uh, implanted in the community, right? So these are the three: Luna 2.0, Luna Classic, and USCC. So the other ones can can do well. Some of them did do well and then they faded, right? Which is fine. Right. And I wish all of them luck. And I, and I do support them. And I do share some of their stuff on, on Twitter and stuff. But for this videos from my video platform, I just want to focus on the three. All right. And so I don't I'm not a, I'm not a fan of creating a new token. I just I, it seemed to me it seems like a money grab. But I don't know the, the full information on this. But I know the people who create the token are going to make a lot of money and the community could still be sitting there like, where's the the repay? Oh, well, it's coming. You know, we just had to cash out two hundred million dollars on you guys. We just sucked you guys dry for two hundred million. We'll get to the repay when we get to it, guys. You know, and so I don't like stuff like that. (laughs) You know, we've seen that too many times. So um, let's stick with USTC, Luna, Luna, um, Luna uh, Classic and um and USTC can repay by just buying power, power and, and burns. It only has a few billion tokens left, anyways. Okay, so here is uh, Lunk. Let's speed it up now because we're we're only got five minutes left. So let's go here. And we did break we did break this area here, and now we need to um, stay above it. Stay above that one, right? Close. Keep keep that close above that one. We got a hundred million in volume. That's good. That means the burns are going to be. Uh, coming up and um and that's good so we want to get to that we want to get to that 500 million dollars million dollars in, in volume every day but we'll definitely take 100 million plus every day man for from this day forward let's let's see if we can keep that 100 million uh going and here's luna 2.0 so and we're actually down one percent today uh and we have 91 million in volume today so lunk is actually outperforming luna 2.0 today in volume okay we still don't have tfl burning their wallets yet except for the shuttle bridge and so we're waiting on all of the wallets of tfl to burn uh they might not do it until the end of the year into next year so we have to you know hopefully they do it by by january before january 1 2025 we want all of tfl's wallets to be burned right and the community needs to continue to push them to burn to just do what their court order sells tell them to do right do what they agreed in court in the bankruptcy court to burn all their wallets so let's see if they burn it by the end of the year uh we don't want to go into january 1st with tfl still having wallets right available not not burned like this is crazy Hopefully by the end of the year, between now and the end of the year, they burn their entire wallet supply. All right, um, and then let's look at the year. We're still in the red. You know, you buy in the red, you sell in the green, right? So, all right. So then the last one is USTC. Is that down today? Yeah, it's down as well. So, so some of the markets are down. Bitcoin's at eighty four thousand, sucking everything dry, uh, and then some of that money is flowing back into the mean coins, and some of the mean coins are up big today as well. Uh, the altcoins, eh, bad idea. AI is up because of uh, um, they they actually ran out of tokens uh, on one of the exchanges, and Mr. Lightspeed is now going to be doing buybacks um, to add liquidity. So that's why it was pumping. Um, okay, so uh, two cents here, four uh, five five for USTC and ninety two million in volume. So the volume is almost the same for all three tokens here uh, in volume. So that's pretty good. And, we, and look, we only, we got seven point eight billion tokens. We got five billion tokens in circulation. So it's not that difficult that that to say if the bull cycle continues for between now and in April, we could literally burn half of these tokens or all or down. We we can actually burn back down to one billion tokens with this type of volume. If we can sustain a hundred to through to three hundred million in volume then we can definitely burn the tokens down to 1 billion by the time we hit april all right especially if the community is going to come in and start buying and helping out as well as all these other altcoins do really well we can come back we can do big buy events every month and just and get this thing down to 1 billion uh tokens right Okay, especially if TFL is going to be burning a four, a half the supply, you know, more than half the supply here, uh, by before the end of the year. Hopefully, they they burn over four billion tokens here, right? So that'll be that'll help us out significantly. Okay, 
So let's go to Galaxy Station here, and we do have a uh, two proposals here. Um, the, the burn tax is is hasn't even passed the threshold yet, which is crazy. We still have two days left, 19 hours, and then we have here request from CoinMarketCap's uh, dashboard um, access to transfer to all nodes, and then that one looks like it's going to pass with flying colors as well within the next five days. And then the last thing here is um, is the burns, 30 million in burns today, and then we have um and this is early so it's not, it's not even 11 a.m um eastern standard time so it's not even not, not so we, we we still got a long way to go we're on pace for about 100 100 million in burns today if the volume keep it you know, stays up here and then um 20 14 um thousand in burns today and then we got 15.95 a 94 ratio there for staking um we're under 95 billion now for uh oracle pool there so let's see here uh, now, if we get the volume on the DeFi side, uh, the Oracle pool is going to start to curl here and start to head up, right? So we need to get that volume two, three, four hundred million in volume, but we got to get it on that DeFi side, right? Not centralized side, but the DeFi side needs to have 100, two, 300 million in volume. That's when we're going to see this massive curl here and we're start, going to start going up this way. Okay, but expect undelegations here because people are gonna if we if we pump here, uh, the markets are pumping. So the, we, we you know Bitcoin's pumping. If that money flows in the lung here, lung's gonna be at three zero five, right? And then three two zero to one, and people are gonna be undelegating like crazy. And um, and so we'll see how that plays out as well. Uh, community pools there, and then um, stats two hundred eighty eight million on undelegated there. People burning lunk, people burning UST, C-Shot, everybody burning something. Um, Firefly Capital, $732 million added. Uh, Jarvis Protocol lost $742 million. And then anybody, nobody's in um, jail, but we do have some missed signatures here. 28 validators missed signatures, LVS note at the top there. Validators here, getting ready for big changes in the validators. If we make this next push, to two five, the next push should be up to two five, and then after two five, we're looking at that three zero five. Once once we're in that range of two five, three zero five, expect massive changes on the validators here, right? So expect some validators to come out of the top ten, some validators to come into the top ten, um, and expect some massive moves here. So some of these validators that are here are going to go all the way down to here and some of these validators are at the bottom are going to come up it all depends on who is holding that is a, a lot of tokens that are just about to get out at two zero at three zero two five three zeros five area right so that's going to be the area that a lot of people are going to get out right that two zero that three zeros two five three zeros five we're going to see a lot of undelegations in that area that's the sweet spot right that's the first leg and um and then um, once everybody gets out there, then, you know, we consolidate in that area and then we move up to that two zeros, one, two zeros, five, and a lot more people are going to get out of there, right? So as we go up, right? So, um, you know, and we're going to congratulate it. Don't, don't be a hater. Congratulate everybody that's leaving, that's going to be leaving and, and, and taking profits to, so they can secure their future and their families. Um, we, we're not going to be hating on people. You should already have lunk on the side anyways, so that you can be able to cash some of your lunk out at that point. Also, your rewards are going to be way up. Um, you're going to be getting more rewards as people undelegate and your rewards are going to have more value. So if you're only making $1 right now, if we 10x from here, you'll be making ten dollars a day, right? But uh, but you're also gonna get more rewards. So you're gonna be making uh, your the APR is gonna double or triple. You know what I mean? So instead of making one dollar a day, you, you know you might you might be making three three dollars a day, which is now thirty dollars a day. So you're gonna go from one dollar a day uh, to about thirty dollars a day, right? So if you're making one dollar right now a day, right? So because the rewards are gonna triple. And then the, the value of your tokens are going to be up a thousand percent. So, um, so just think about it that way, right? So it's going to be very lucrative uh, once we get up into those prices. So when we just if we just move a thousand percent and stay in that range, it's going to be very lucrative for staking. And your staking value is going to be amazing. Some of you guys, some somebody's making a hundred dollars a day right now. Well, if we if we ten x, you'll be making a thousand dollars a day, plus. If the rewards go from 10 per 10 cents, uh, 10 percent that they are right now, I think the rewards right now, APR is like 10 percent or something like that. If we go from 10 percent to 30 percent, right, because of all the undelegations, then now you're making three thousand dollars 
a day. Right? So you got the you get the dollar value of the of the 10x jump, and then you get the APR jumping to you know three times, and now you're at three thousand dollars a day in in, st in staking rewards, right? And then maybe you have some lunk on the side, maybe you got ten million lunk on the side, and you cash that out as well, right? So, you know, so it's it's gonna be it's gonna be really lucrative for those that stay in staking, uh, but it's also lucrative for people who undelegate all their staking and cash out six figures, you know what I mean, or seven figures, or high five figures. You know what I mean, some some of you guys never cashed out an eighty thousand dollars at one time before, so that'd be be awesome. Maybe you pay your mom's house out, you know what I mean, and um, so yeah, so yeah, you know, those are those are things that are gonna happen once we get into those levels. So yeah. So anyways, peace out. God bless. Good times are coming here. And um, it's going to be some tough decisions, but this is going to be wealth, wealthy decisions. And so you should have fun with it. Have fun with wealthy decisions. It's better than having fun with poverty decisions. <laughs> you, know <what> I mean? <laughs> you know, don't stress out about wealthy decisions because just be like, hey, I'm blessed, man. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not making I'm not making poverty decisions. I'm making wealthy decisions now. Right. So. Think about it. Think about it that way. Peace out. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.